Okay, so I think I found the spot which I had not looked in and well, it's quite an obvious spot. I don't know how I missed this. So, as you can see, it's behind. No, it's under the seat cushion. You know, the most obvious spot to leave a baseball card on the sofa under the seat cushion. So, that's our final one. We shall head on into the office and we're going to go to the right place first. We're going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So, how do we position these? Do we just do these as like nine, eight, seven? Uh, no, that just seems silly. That seems silly. Number one should go top, right? Number two, number three, number four, number five, six and seven. Eight and nine. Okay. I guess that's not the way to do that. That seems crazy. So, how are we working this? Got 17 in the middle. Hmm. Can we just sort of shove these out of the way? How do we know if they're in the right spot is the real question as well. Like if I just randomly go six up there, will it tell me it's in the right spot? Let's just try everyone in that spot. Three! Nope. Five? Hmm. I feel like these. Hmm. Oh. What happens if I just randomly place cards like that? Hold it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Hmm. Hold on. You can't make them add up to 17. They just don't make no sense. Unless each side has to equal 17. Mm-hmm. Perhaps each side goes up 17. Perhaps we need like one, two, three. The lowest two would be on there. Hold on. Nine would go between the lowest two. Eight would go between. So they equal five, that equals four. So that puts seven here. Eight, ten, eleven, twelve plus five. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that doesn't add up. 
Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Do these sit the same in the Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Put seven in to these slots. And just see where it like settles in the group. If I'm trying to sound crazy, seven looks like it either goes there or there. In the way it like sits in the group. Six, where do you Okay. I might be going crazy. Okay, that looks like it just sort of settled in there. That was weird. Hmm. That's leaning that way now. It's weird. This really is weird. Right. Hmm. Okay, this is her in my brain. So, we're gonna quickly jump to me figuring it out i.e looking it up okay so i was on the right track it is a case of simply adding it up to 17 as stated in the middle here and well there's no way of me really swindling the game because well you have to figure it out now it's a case of memory in this case so four nine for that side this side was okay so that'd be 18 so you go with seven eight and six is it yes there we go so i was right i was just a bit impatient and should have stuck at it but on weekly maybe even sadder than that cat weekly magazine possibly can we take the money a sign of illegal activity. Yeah, but can we take it? Thanks. The drawer inside this safe needs two additional cards. Whatever's in here must be so important that Mason mm. Bauer keeps both the cards with him at all times. Perhaps. Perhaps he does. Or perhaps. What is this? Bauer's memory. So we've got the two letters. Porn Weekly. What's the fax? Maldonado was tracking down a woman named Margaret Leonard for Bowers. Hmm. Well, is that looks like Bowers next? was interested in some Nikola Tesla artifacts from Rook's Pawn Shop. Ah, the Rook's Pawn Shop. We go, I guess. This memory stick probably works on the computer in Bowers' MRI room. Let's try it. Let's go try it. Before we leave, we can go to his MRI and try the computer. If I found a flash drive, I could connect it to the video screen. I know. We just happen to have said that. Long-lasting memories are created through a process of consolidation, which is based on the formations of protein in the brain. Thus, memories, particularly painful ones, are formed by these unstable proteins making them easily identifiable and removed with a combination of drugs and behavior therapy, mm -hmm. ensuring memory elimination. Of course, there are those who do not believe that the benefits of memory modification outweigh the risks. They warn that eliminating memories 
one could significantly alter a person's personality, their history. Mm, light text. They get in seven years. Oh, a fancy device that wipes your memory. Hmm? Useful technology. I see applications for anyone who ever went out with you or read the Twilight series. Come on. Little mercy here for the victim. All right. Why would Ballard want to erase my memory? Oh, why would he not? Do the world a favor. But I think that might be all that we need from here. Uh, ah, wait. Let's head back to Chandler with that. I better drop by the barbecue joint and see how that dweeb Mojo's doing. Maybe he's decrypted that memory stick. Yeah, Maybe. about time too. I need a new lead on this case. Okay, let's go speak to Mojo Jojo. And then perhaps maybe even stop at the pawn shop. But first, Mojo Jojo. So your memory stick's all ready to go. Now, what do you give me for it? Mm, excuse me. What are you talking about? I thought we were partners in anti-crime. Yeah. You think I'm going to solve your case for free just because you're my idol? No, it's the great Tex Murphy wouldn't lift a finger without compensation. <laughs> Neither will I. Okay. Look, Sonny, extortion is a very serious business. <laughs> Do you have an action figure? I want something money can't buy. You know... You can buy action figures. I'm surprised you didn't know that. No, I want an action figure of you. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Chief. Nobody likes a sucker. You know how your cases always have a hundred loose ends and you need that one missing piece to tie it all together? I got that piece. Hmm. <laughs> it's not always. This could be that one missing piece. Mr. Murphy, you need this. Yeah, well, I'm all out of action figures, so now what? <laughs> Do you remember that sicko who was going around with a liquid nitrogen freeze gun, shooting people and then smashing them? The press called him the Nitro Stalker. You got involved, and the cops finally found him a few weeks later, smashed into a million pieces. Yeah. Sounds like he was pretty broken up. Everybody knows you were behind that bit of freeze-dried justice. The freeze gun was never found, and I'm betting you took it. I'll trade you the memory stick straight up for it. Hmm. All right. But please be aware that Inspector Burns Corporate will be hearing about your shoddy customer service. Don't know. Oh, you seem to be what very knowledgeable about that stupid about the thing around here. Well, I think the electronic shop is probably the place to go, but we're going to ask everyone. I hope you don't mind, Mike. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, just so they know it's the old text they're dealing with. Let me know what else I can do for you. Um, tell me about the freezer. You got me there, boy. That Clint's really come up in the wild. Though I still hide the chocolate cake when he drops by. I don't want him falling back into his uh, old ways. Well, that's nice of you. But. Hmm. 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 Not again. You're going to get me fired. Or worse. Or worse. Freeze gun. Can't help you with that. Can't or won't. That guy's a go-getter. Why don't you get him to answer these questions? Maybe I will. But I'm asking you as well. All right, we'll come back to the pawn shop. I want to see if Holly can help with any of these. Holly. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Well, I'm trying to locate Frieza. 
Not a clue. Well, that's no help. Thanks a lot. Down the street we shall go. To Rook's Pawn. Uh, we need to talk. Uh, do we have to, really? Yeah, yes. trust me, you may be involved in what happened to me. Oh, the very thought makes me giddy. <laughs> I knew you'd be pleased to hear that. But it's all tied to items of Nikola Tesla and a man named Mason Bowers. Uh, it's true. It's true, I've had some very rare Tesla items in my possession from time to time, but I have uh, never heard of this uh, Mason Bowers. You know Carlos Maldonado? Well, of course I know that wretched swine. Tell me how he ties into Tesla. Yeah. Maldonado tried to bribe and threaten me to reveal my source with my Tesla items, but I didn't give it to him, and I won't give it to you. And why not? Do you think Maldonado was the one watching you? I think Perhaps. so. Oh, my, my, my. That could be troublesome. Uh, I need to make some inquiries. Uh, is there anything else? Yes. Click. Like I always say, you can take a bomb out of a dumpster, but you'll never get a dumpster out of a bomb. Strange imagery. Very strange imagery. Well, the freeze gun? The one you pawned that's supposed to belong to the Nitro Stalker? I believe it was purchased by one of those vigilante Morlock hunters. Oh, great. And where are we going to find them? You don't happen to know more any questions. criminals, do you? Why you got to keep coming back with more questions? Um, no. Apparently... No, he just has no idea. Right, Paul. Looks like Bowers was interested in some Nikola Tesla art. Yeah, we know this. Maldonado was tracking down a woman named Margaret Leonard for Bowers. Seems Mason was treating someone with serious facial deterioration. Facial deterioration. Surely, after all we've been through, you would not turn against me and turn to her. Looks like. I wonder if the facial deterioration could be either of you or you. I think everybody's pretty yes. happy that you seem to have a bit of facial self. deterioration. Except Rook. The bad ornery old cuss. No pleasing him, I guess. How are things going for you? Well. Mr. Happy. Okay, I guess. Oh! Rusty's is open. A bell will be placed in the lobby if the clerk is on duty. If a bell is on the front desk... Yeah, where is it? I could ring it and talk to the clerk. Oh, fine. We'll go back here. Have you been a bad boy? Well, this is a flashy new neighbor. I mean... Sapphire, eh? Well, that sounds like a fun new neighbor. Well, this is does. a flashy new neighbor. Can we at least knock on? Come on, text. Don't borrow. Let's knock on. Okay, we'll go upstairs in a second. Oh, needs a key. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. Oh, this one. Is that? Oh, needs a key. Wait, the other one said it needed a key, but it just looked like an old uh, What the heck is this? Why is there a brick wall around this one? Right. Peculiar. Will we find a key up here? Well, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. I mean, it's a smart idea. The question is... I think we need to get into that room somehow. Where are we going to find the key for it? No way you just keep your key above the door, right? No. I think we head down. Anything under the stairs? Perhaps. Okay. So I think I know where we need to go next. It's best not to sit on these couches, but if you do, you better be wearing a hazmat suit. And I think I know where to go now. Rusty. Okay. Oh Lord, we 
beseech thee. Give us strength. Courage. Protection. I think we found out Vajor Wanties. Hail, fellow countrymen. We are ready to begin our quest. Hunting the dreadful night beast. Make haste. Sorry, Tex, we gotta run. Farewell, Sir Larry Curley and all. Don't be sure to tell Snow White you're gonna be late for breakfast. Ooh, now this place is cool. A nerdy seventh grader's paradise. Well, I don't teach go-go dance at my academy. We're more respectable than that. Hmm. Okay, what's this food and why am I not allowed to inspect it? Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Padlocking the fridge is for extreme dieters only. Padlocks. Ooh, key. It's a key to a padlock. Whoa, better tell Yogi to be on the lookout for these injections. I used to love the game of Twisty. Ooh, but this key opens. Perhaps one of the doors. What's the Lord. They're locked. The half life of Weenie World Burgers is at least 20 years. Back in the Hayes Code days, a couple looks like someone has already helped themselves to the items behind. Fool me once, rubber spaghetti. Shame on. Looks like someone has already helped themselves to the items behind the counter. Yep, that's not diet. Ah, poor Rusty. I knew him well. I knew him well. To the roof. That leads to Rusty's roof. Well, I see a padlock. I think I know where the padlock key goes. And that is the door I couldn't open before. Door oh door. That I could not open before. Oh, roof. I wonder what that opens. And up. We shall go. To the rooftop. Ah, which is where the zip line thing comes in handy. I see they put Rusty's zip line back in place. How convenient. How convenient indeed. Hey, there's a dog at the other side. Hold on. Before we zip line across and go pet the dog, see anything over this side? Oh, we can't walk onto that rooftop. Oh, there's a mean looking boot on this road. But maybe we don't mess with the dog. At least the dog can't get up the ladder, so we should be okay over there. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed! Zipline! Um, you okay down there? Thank you, Dux Machina. Okay, what did I get out of this apart from knocking a dog out? I'm not sure I've really achieved anything other than knocking the dog out. Oh, no way! A freeze gun! Freeze gun! This is definitely your coolest case ever. No pun intended. Oh. With freeze guns, the puns are always intended. Are you familiar with the work of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Please, have mercy. I'm afraid my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. I'm gonna find a way to turn you off, I swear. <laughs> You're not sending me to the cooler. Cool party? Fine, I'm done. Thank God. I'm so glad he's done. Allow me to break the ice. Oh. My name is Freeze. Learn it well, for it is the chilling sound of your doom. Let's just get this thing back to Mojo. Yeah. Let's just get it straight back to Mojo right now. Before we have any awful puns following up. You got it, didn't you? The Nitro Stalker Freeze Gun. Yes. So cool. My internet group is going to be so jealous. Yes, it literally only took me having a dog knock itself out. I hope he realizes this. I hope he realizes the effort. Listen, kid. We kind of keep this on the down low. If the cops find out I gave this to you, 
probably gonna lose my life. You can count on me. <laughs> and I've already forgotten what was on that memory stick. Lips are zip. Good enough. And by the way, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. We've got nothing else to talk about. We've got our memory stick. And we've given up the freeze gun. I'm checking it down the rain as well. We may only get one chance, Carlos, so I wanted to go over the plan one more time. If Margaret shows up at the Ritz, call me immediately. If I'm delayed, detain her. We have to assume mm -hmm. she won't give up the egg voluntarily, but I want to talk to her first. You know why I've given you the cryo chamber, but that has to be the very last resort. And if anything happens to me, I'll need you to contact a friend of mine. Keep it safe until I retrieve it. Well, it sounds like Mason and Margaret had a major disagreement. I need to locate both of them and get to the bottom of this. I decide to head back to my office to sort things out. Hey, cowboy. Any memories coming back yet? Not so far, but something tells me I might be missing out on some really good ones. That's mm -hmm. solid detective work. So... Were we dating? Dating? Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. I guess you can call it that. But we were also working together in a more professional capacity. Well, now my detective Ooh, yes. skills are picking up a little sarcasm. <laughs> Seriously, cowboy. You're good. I learned a lot working with you the past couple of weeks. Hmm? Your dance moves? Let me get this straight. Uh, you and I were working on a case together. Did you want to tell me about that? Not at all. He wanted a list of tenants here at the Ritz as far back as I could go. Why would I do that? It was your dreams. They were vivid before, but they were getting out of control. It's almost like they were changing you into someone else. You talked about seeing things from the past, but you wouldn't give me details. You're incredibly stressed. It was like you actually believed this apartment was haunted. You even started looking into psychometry. Psycho what? Psychometry. It's the belief that an object can contain a person's energy. So, not only am I an amnesiac, but I'm a paranormal idiot. Yeah. Great. Sounds crazy, I know. But then we found out about Donnelly. Who? J.T. Donnelly. It was the most bizarre thing. I'd heard you mention the name in your sleep. But then, his name turned up when I checked out the previous tenants. So who is this guy? He's a private investigator. A real old school brute. He worked for some powerful, influential people. But then he disappeared around 1943. His last known address was here. Mm. San Francisco. No, here. At the Ritz in this exact apartment. Dun, okay. Dun, dun. That's a little bizarre. It gets bizarrier. Bizarrier. You call me one night, raving like a lunatic, saying the walls were talking. I rushed over and found holes smashed in the wall, and you curled up on the floor in a ball. Well, I'm glad to mm. hear I haven't changed that much. You wouldn't tell me what had happened. But after that, you wouldn't sleep here. That's when you got your new place and started to sleep there. Where is that? Hold on. I have another place. Yes, you do. And it's even nicer than here. Oh, go figure. This is all crazy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep here nicer than there is. to see whether it affects me in the same way. Do you want some company? Listen. Taylor, I'm beginning to see what the other me saw in you, but in my head, it's still 2043. I've got to tell you, there was somebody else. Chelsea, I know. You know how much she meant to me, Tex. Losing her was traumatic as hell for you. But she's gone. And there's nothing you can say or do or don't do that's going to bring her back. Unless she's a zombie. I sure do. I'm alive. And that's my heart. 
Yours if you want it. We'll see you there. It comes with all the other things. Go with Taylor. Stay true to Chelsea. And trustworthy. We have no reason to really doubt her. Well, I think it's time for the big sleepover. I'll make popcorn. No, that's the point. Sure, she will. Just don't get up to too much, because I don't want to have to censor Six it. Six hours later, the rain was finally letting yeah. up. Thank you. Somebody once said, you can't change the past. Only the course you're on. And that's what I intend to do. It's time for me to take my ship in a new direction. Being with Taylor last night felt comfortable. She accepted me as I am. A crazy Maybe enough. I had to accept myself in the same way. Still, I know I'm in the middle of something sinister, and I've got to deal with it. I've got to find a way to get my recent memory back. Then I can go forward and start a new day. As Taylor was leaving, she slips me a key to a place called the resort said it might provide some insights about myself over the last few years. Mm -hmm. She wasn't kidding. 